Hey, welcome back. This is Beamer Merchant. Today you are in for a treat once again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and basically this describe or point out the differences between, say for example, an engine on a 525, which this engine came from a 5, 2003 525. And we're going to point out what the difference in terms of wiring higher uh, wiring harnesses compared to a 3 series obviously the engine from a 325 525 are gonna fit the question is what's different about it or what would you need to switch I've gotten this question from many customers who call you know asking if I have an engine from uh, say a 325 when I ask them, you know, what what their their car is, they might say I have a 525. So I basically tell them that the engine will fit, but they are gonna need to do some modification in terms of wiring, and that's what I'm gonna point out to you today. So if you're if you have either a 525 or a, you know a, the other model, hopefully we we'll, we can go ahead and explain what you would need to change if you want to go ahead and uh, put those engines. In your car so let's start with the 525 pretty much here we're gonna start off with the exhausts okay these are the headers most people have asked me if these uh, if they're the same from the 325 engine and they are not so don't buy headers from the wrong car okay I've gone ahead and got these headers out of a 2003 25 model as you can see they are longer right here longer a bit shorter now if you compare these headers with headers from a 525 or even a 530 they are not the same okay see these are shorter at the end right here compared to longer from a 3 series right there so that's one difference the other difference in terms of uh, what makes up the engine is the wiring harness okay on a 525 in this model the wire wiring harness is complete and what I mean by that is this wiring has basically goes to your O2 sensors it also goes to your uh, battery I'm sorry not battery transmission okay so it's one whole piece and then of course you come to the side of the engine and you got this here okay this goes to the uh, I believe the DME and this is what controls the left side of your engine which is which is all these components see this is the wiring comes out here and from here splits so it controls your starter your oil level sensor here your throttle body your idle control valve sensor here and especially it controls your camshaft sensor and so forth okay so again this is the wiring heart wiring harness that controls all those components on your left hand side now the 525 this one here has it let's look at a 325 Okay, now this is a 325 engine, okay? This was a 2002 325. Difference here was this was a manual, came out of a manual car, so the wiring is different. And that's what we were trying to figure out because the connections are different. But again, as you look on the side, they still control all these components on the side the same way the 525 did. It's just a different connection here, okay? Now let's go to another engine. Okay, now this is a engine came out of, came from an X5, a 3.0. It's still the M54 engine. Okay, you see this wiring goes back there. This connection is different from the one we just showed you a minute ago. Okay, check this out. This is more closely resembles. See, this mostly close uh, it resembles the uh, wiring wiring harness from the 525. See right there connections are about the same right there and you got this connection right here so it's different from um, looks different on the 325 maybe it's because a it's because it's a many transmission okay uh, so we got those uh, differences right now um, this is the first part of the video in the next video we're gonna go ahead and focus on the wiring that actually goes to the um, DME and the transmission so if you want to learn or you want to learn what the differences are in those uh, stick around and uh, you'll learn a little bit more so for now thanks for watching you have a great day